Well, mediation, Ben, is a structured, flexible process to assist parties in very difficult negotiations. Generally speaking, a mediation could last, say, from five hours to maybe 10 hours, sometimes a little longer, but the overall process will be a combination of working sessions with everybody um, and private sessions. Going into a mediation process with a skilled mediator will really make a difference to the way in which people explore different creative ways of finding solutions. The mediator's goal is actually to get the clients to kind of focus on solutions. But to do that, you've got to actually think about what is at the heart of the dispute, look at the risks, look at the challenges, but you can come up with solutions that are much more creative outside of the scope of what any court could possibly offer you. If you're going to court, you're going to a tribunal, you, um, you know, your, your advisor's not making the decision, you're not making the decision, you are letting the tribunal decide what the outcome is. You're letting the judge decide what the outcome is. So the outcome is with that tribunal. You will advocate or your advisors will advocate um, and you hope to win, but you may not win. So what kind of results do you get? At the very best, you get a total resolution of all the outstanding issues. But that isn't always possible in some very complex problems. You can't get it all done in 10 hours. So what you will get at the end of a mediation process, you'll get realignment and people ready to move forward so that they can work towards a solution in the immediate future. Particularly in the legal process, you know, those who are involved in the legal process will know from their lawyers we have something called without prejudice, which allows you to make proposals without having to disclose that and prejudice your legal arguments if you don't in fact settle the case. So mediation provides for that similar kind of protected dialogue, but it's also the fact that the mediator, when he or she is working with the clients privately and trying to get to find out what they want, they may be nervous um, about disclosing that to you because they don't want you to disclose it to the other side. They're trying to feel their way. So you've got to build up trust with them so they feel they can maybe share material with you or what they really want or what they're really thinking about the other team, but they don't want you to actually disclose that. There is a kind of potential nervousness, I think, about will I lose control through the mediator? Um, I would argue, no, you're not going to lose control. The mediator's job is, in fact, to hand you back control, but it's a skill the mediator uses to build your trust and to put you in a position where you are, in fact, back in control of your own dispute and making sure you're going to get some kind of outcome.